One of the most incredible revolutions brought by Cometa dell'Arte is that for the first time in history, women could perform. But it's not about just performance. Women could work. And this was a huge social revolution. Women and men as colleagues. Unbelievable. <laughs> Until that time, the female characters were performed by young boys. Do you remember Shakespeare in Love? Mr. Pearl! Mr. Phillips! Welcome! To the old Brian James Armitage. <laughs> so, my pretty one. Oh, are you ready to fall in love again? I am, Martin Shakespeare. Your voice. Have they dropped? <laughs> no! No! A touch of cold only. Master Henslow, you have your actors, except Thomas Kent. All those wonderful and few female roles like Ophelia, uh, Lady Macbeth, Juliet were performed by men. The only possibility for a woman at that time was to get married and become a property, the husband's property, like a, a house, a horse, an object that was owned by the man. Or the other possibility was to marry the church and become a nun. If you think about it, at that time the only possibility to have a job and a salary was to become a prostitute. Well, prostitutes at that time were really more accepted than actresses. So, prostitutes, yes, but actresses no. So, when this Commedia dell'arte revolution started, were Commedia dell'arte companies so open-minded and feminists? Absolutely not. They were just really interested in their own wallet. Commedia dell'arte companies were performing in streets, in squares, for an audience that was not already sitting there. It, the audience was just a potential audience, people just passing by. And so these companies had to, to attract the audience. And I mean, what is more attractive than a beautiful woman on stage barely dressed? Very often students ask me, why were women not performing with masks? This is one of the reasons. Uh, it wouldn't be smart to cover the face of these beautiful women. Therefore, this revolution was quite unintentional. I mean, it didn't start as a, a progressive movement, a feminist movement. But those women, after a while working, began to be appreciated for their own skills as actresses, as singers, as business women. Those women became stars, appreciated for their own skills, not just their beauty. In Commedia dell'arte's plots Canovacci, we um, often see uh, the young daughter fighting against the father's authority. Uh, the father is, is very often pantalone or dottore. The father uh, wants to decide who is going to marry the daughter. Uh, very often is a, a convenient marriage, a rich guy. Colombina is a servant, um, she is not uh, maybe characterized by her beauty, but she is smart. She is very often fighting against Pantalone and Dottore in order to, to help the young daughter. And sometimes she beats them with pots. I mean, we are talking about the 16th century. So we can understand how Commedia dell'arte was a, a, a huge revolution.